Good morning, this is uh, Rashad Mitch coming to you live from my YouTube channel. As I continue on my part series, Understanding Black Music History, this is part 248 for December 5th. Let's get into it. December 5th, 1960, He Will Break Your Heart, Jerry Butler. There's no more R&B song in 1960. He Will Break Your Heart on Jerry, by Jerry Butler on December 5th. December 5th, 1953, the heart tone standard, Sunday Kind of Love, was released. It was their first of 29 singles between 1953 and 1982. December 5th, 1979, one of rap's earliest singles, Christmas Rap, by Curtis Blow, made its debut, though it failed to chart, despite reportedly selling nearly 400,000 copies. It will be recognized by the British public who sent it to number 30. The single would eventually chart three times in the 90s, truly based on airplay. Blow had the distinction of being the first rapper that was signed to major label Mercury Records. 1990, December 5th, Aretha Franklin was honored by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Science with the Living Legend Award. December 5th, 1992, Lloyd Price, Little Richard, Little Eva, Bobby V, Dwayne Eddy, and Johnny Preston, among others, hit England on the Giants of Rock and Roll concert at Wembley Arena in London. December 5th, 1998, Randy charted with Happy Weather, which would soon become her second number one pop in less than seven months. Not bad for a team heartthrob, besides she wanted to be an entertainer after watching Whitney Houston's How Will I Know video. She was also influenced by the Little Richard concert she attended at age 11. And finally, on December 5th, 1998, Lauren Hill performed on NBC's TV Saturday Night Live. That concludes the look at December 5th for part 248 of I Understand Black Music History for December 5th. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel through the video. Smack to tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.